king in it. Rule your own world. Morning and welcome to Sri Lanka. Welcome, we've made it. Oh my God. Just take a look at this room, please. So we got here last night and we were upgraded to the junior suite because they felt sorry for us because we came so late. I've never had this. Look, this is the, the feature. <laughs> oh, what I give Craig to get into it, honestly. This is Instagram goals right here. I just wish we had more time. We've never got time to like appreciate these amazing rooms. Like, look at the size of it. So this is the city view, and then this is the sea view. Like, how cool is that? Oh, there's some waves here. You can see it. It's massive. And this is your view from the shower. How cool is that? That's so cool. You just gotta watch, got a couple of bits just in case anyone's looking up at you. The toilet where there's a telephone just in case you wish to use the telephone when you're on the toilet. And this bed, probably the best bed ever slept in my whole life. Massive again, shouting across the room to see if you were still there, I was. Craig, Craig, are you there? Well, we gotta go. Yeah, we've got a full day planned today and they're waiting for us, so let's go. So we left Colombo in our little minivan and this is where it all went wrong for Amy. We had about a four or five hour drive through windy roads, bumping up and down. And because we only had a few hours sleep, Amy got really ill and just had a bad time. After the drive, we got to the most amazing hotel. We had to light a candle and everything when we turned up. Proper posh. Really big room, beautiful place. And then in the evening, we had a slap up meal. The next morning, Amy was not feeling good again, but I think she just didn't want to do the hike. So I went on my own to the top of Sigiriya Rock. The trek to the top was a bit of a slog, super steep steps. And if you are scared of heights, then this trek will test your nerves a little bit. Look out for the wasps. The views are just insane. You can see the whole of this place. I'm not sure what it's called. <laughs> But it's tw it was like 1,200 steps to get to the top. It's quite humid today, it was a bit of a challenge, but not too bad, there's a lot of stop-offs. So I'm up here, we're with the Sri Lankan tourist board, so we've got the loveliest guide ever. But once we're done here, we're gonna go back to the hotel, have some lunch, and then we're going on a safari, which I cannot wait to do. There's like wild elephants and wild monkeys. It's like, oh, it's just mad. It's just so much like nature and the views are amazing, but yeah. It's beautiful. The Sri Lankan people are so friendly. But for now, take a look at this view. This is not just a rock. This used to actually be the king's palace which he built over 1500 years ago and this guy sounded like an absolute don and there was a rival rivalry between him and his brother but this guy had this giant palace one on top and one at the bottom one for in the summer one for in the winter what a guy God, this is so steep and so high coming down is way worse than going up if you don't like heights i'm not sure you want to come up here but you should face your fear because I'm terrified of heights and I managed to get up here. It's totally worth it for these views, man. Okay, making our way back down, we're almost at the bottom. I've had a wicked time. And it's weird, when I do stuff without Amy, it's like I can understand how you'd feel as a solo traveller. And it's pretty it's pretty good, no offense, Amy. I love your company and all that, but it's quite nice. You could just sort of take in the sights, you know, take a few snaps, have a little wander by yourself. So if you're thinking about going traveling on your Todd, then you'll have a great time, trust me. You'll meet loads of friends, there's loads of travellers, you can just spark up a conversation with anyone. I got some Japanese mates now, some South African mates, some French mates, so it's not all bad, you know? After the trek, I got back to the hotel and the chefs had set up a little cooking area outside. They cooked us some typical Sri Lankan dishes which were banging and surprise, surprise, Amy showed up. Luckily, Amy felt much better, so she came out on the safari to Minaria National Park. Again, it started off a bit ropey. The truck was bouncing all over the shop, so Amy had to move to the front. 
But eventually, after about 45 minutes, we pulled up and we saw about 100 elephants in the wild. Honestly, there are no words to describe how incredible this moment and this place was. Just take a look for yourself. Thank you.